In this game, I make 10 damage per shot. I want to increase that to, let's say, 50. So I'm going into the dnspy folder, not the zip file. Starting dnspy.exe. There it is. And now I'm going to the game folder, which is over here. It needs to contain a data folder. If it doesn't, it's probably not a Unity game. And now in the managed folder, which you hopefully have, there's an assembly minus C sharp DLL, but sometimes developers write their own DLL with their own name. But that happens extremely rarely. I have seen only one game that did that so far. All right, so if you drag it in, hopefully you will be able to see stuff in the assembly minus C sharp, purple assembly minus C sharp dash, and then in here there should be stuff. And if you click stuff in here, there should be more code. Hopefully that works for you, because that's what you need to be able to mod this. If it doesn't work, then the game maybe was compiled with IL to CPP, in which case, forget about it. All right, now we have to guess which here is used for shooting bullets. I'm gonna guess gun. And we have, uh, let's see, reload. Okay. Hmm. Current ammo is equals this inventory ammo. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Max ammo. Oh, I want to change max ammo. Oh, we can just right click here, edit. Method? Is this a method? Okay, base CTOR, this appears sometimes, we have to remove that. Okay, max ammo, let's set this to 500, because why not? What's inventory ammo? I don't know, let's set it to 524. Uh, Alright, compile. But it could be that these things are overwritten, this is just the constructor. Uh, objects in the game could still be a bit different, so I, you know what? We're gonna right click on max ammo. Analyze assigned by red by here yeah, red by gun reload. Okay, I gotta say this confuses me. I'm just gonna simplify this whole thing. We're never gonna change inventory ammo. We're not gonna subtract that. Yeah, let's just go with that and hit compile. And the other use of max ammo is uh, let's see if input uh, blah 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 so and so. Okay. Don't care about that. I think this is just for whether we are able to shoot right now. Well, we changed that. I also want to change the damage. Um, I'm gonna search for that. Let's see. In edit search assemblies, let's hit control shift K. Or again, edit search assemblies. Here we're gonna search for not a number, but all of the above. And it's gonna be damage. I'm gonna guess. And I prefer to use selected files because we don't want to search in Unity Engine, System Core, etc. for this. Okay, bullet damage in the health script. Now the question is, is this the enemy health script or the player health script or both? Player health indicates this is player health. Maybe in gun? But then the question is, is this player gun or also enemy gun? Huh, I think I programmed this. All right, let's hit control F and search for damage. Gun damage. All right, so here we have it, blah, 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 the robot we collide, the bullet with, or the gun shoots at, uh, will will lose gun damage. And we're just gonna multiply gun damage by five, come on, five, and compile. That's it, let's save a module in the file menu. Without that, nothing's gonna happen, press OK. And let's start the game. And now we should only need two shots to destroy the robot. All right, it has a hundred, fifty, zero. Hundred, fifty, zero. Hundred, fifty, zero. Let's empty uh, our clip and see what happens when we reload. We have ammo, three, two, one, zero, reload. Okay, we still have 512 uh, in our inventory. And we have 27 in the mag, I guess that's okay. Didn't quite figure that part out. Check out my DNSPY videos on Ivan Mods, this channel. You can just go to the search tab over here and search for DNSPY. Or follow the links in the description. I'm just gonna put this in the description. And also my Ivan Place channel, my main channel, um, I made some DNSPY modding videos there as well. So check those out. These are great examples. You can maybe learn something from them and apply it to your game or the game you're trying to mod. Hope this helps. Give me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more about modding, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!